In today's video, I've got some easy and delicious make ahead breakfast ideas for Christmas morning for you. So stay tuned. friends welcome back to my channel if you're new my name's Amanda so today's video is all about Christmas morning breakfast ideas I have two easy and delicious breakfast casserole recipes for you as well as a really yummy fruit salad now all of these recipes can be made ahead of time that'll save you lots of time on Christmas morning because we all know how busy that day gets this will make you be able to enjoy that morning and have some yummy food too now I'm really excited to share these recipes with y'all also, I have um, a little message for you at the end, so I would love it if you would stay tuned for that. But go ahead and give me a like if you're excited to see these recipes, and let's go ahead and get into the video. So we're first going to get started with a honey lime fruit salad, so that can chill in the refrigerator while we're making our casseroles. I'm just going to be cutting up some fruit. I'm going to use kiwi, grapes, blueberries, and cherries. I had to make some changes. I had some strawberries. Uh, the recipe actually calls for strawberries, but they ended up being bad, and so I couldn't use them. And But this was a perfect combination. I did not even miss the strawberries. And the cherries added such a pop of pretty color alongside the blue from the blueberries. So I loved this fruit combination, and we'll definitely make it like this again. I've never really made an actual fruit salad. You know, I've just had cut up fruit or whatever, but like with the dressing and everything. And this was so good. I will definitely make it again. And it was super simple. I mean, really the hardest part is just getting all your fruit, you know, kind of prepped and washed and ready to go and all that. But after you do that, this goes together super fast. Now I've just got some honey and we're going to add a little lime juice and a little bit of orange juice. The recipe called for pineapple juice, but I had some orange juice on hand that I needed to use up. So I thought this would be a good way to use it. And we're just going to mix that all together and it really is this simple because once this is mixed together you're just going to pour it over your fruit and toss your fruit really well so it gets all good and coated with this tasty you know dressing of sorts and y'all this is so good like it's just enough sweetness coming from you know the honey that it just tastes so good it brightens up the flavor of the fruit with that lime and the perfect thing is you can make it ahead of time you know i had some actually left over and it tasted so good still so the neat thing about all these recipes is you can make all of them ahead of time so that you can just slide them in the oven you can just pull the fruit salad out and be ready to go on christmas morning so next up we're going to be making both of our casseroles we're going to start first with our breakfast potato casserole. I've just got some eggs in here and some pepper. And y'all, I meant to add that milk sitting over there to this, but I totally forgot. And so I'll add it here in a minute and it worked perfectly fine. So if you do the same thing, you'll be good <laughs> because this was absolutely amazing. I cannot believe how good this was. And I used the cubed hash browns with the onions and peppers in it. That definitely gives it a lot more flavor. And I've just got some, this is actually like a Mexican blend cheese. I needed to use it up because it was a big bag in my refrigerator. And I thought, I bet that would go really good with the onions and peppers. And it really was this, I just love this casserole. It was so good. And I've got some already cooked sausage that I had in my freezer. Um, a lot of times I'll cook up a whole box of sausage patties and keep it in my freezer just to pull out as I need, you know, to, to make, well, usually to make those sausage muffins I've shown y'all before because those are so good too. And we're just going to put this in a greased baking dish. And this is actually going to bake at 350 degrees. Mine ended up taking, I think, about 45 minutes. And the other one took, I believe it was 35 minutes. So these really baked well together because it was like perfect timing. So now we're going to go ahead and get started on our cinnamon roll French toast casserole. I've got some melted butter I'm putting in that bowl along with some sugar. And we're just going to mix that together really well. And then add in our eggs, our half and half cinnamon, nutmeg, and vanilla. Now the recipe does call for heavy whipping cream. But it did say that half and half works well too. So that's what I went ahead and used. And it worked out fine. This was absolutely amazing. Like it was so very good. I was so impressed with all these recipes, y'all. I mean like... I don't know they just were so good I will definitely make these again we may just go ahead and make them again for for Christmas because they were so good now once we get our mixture all good and mixed together we're going to go ahead and start cutting up our cinnamon rolls this uses two of the um the I think they're eight count of cinnamon rolls so it's like the longer package not like the big grands one 
uh, th these are the kind of regular size cinnamon rolls. And you're going to take and cut each cinnamon roll into quarters and then just place it in the bowl. So I just cut it right over the bowl and just let them go in there. And once you get all those in there, you're just going to toss them together and get them all good and coated with that liquid. And then we'll get all this into our pan. Now this recipe also mentions you could put pecans on top. I think that would be really good. My youngest doesn't like pecans or anything like that. And so I went ahead and decided to leave them off because I really thought he would like this. Even though when I asked him, he was like, I don't think I want any. But he tried it and he loved it like so much. So um, I'm glad I didn't put the nuts on there. Oh, and speaking of loving it. My daughter doesn't really eat eggs. She just doesn't always care for them. And she absolutely loved that breakfast casserole. She like never hardly ever eats eggs, but she had two servings. <laughs> so that just tells y'all how good that breakfast casserole is. That potato one, so good. Of course, she loved the cinnamon roll, but I knew she would that one. But the, the egg one, I was really surprised because she typically doesn't care, you know, for eggs like that. So now I'm just adding these in the oven. And once the cinnamon roll casserole is done, we'll go ahead and heat that icing that comes along with the cinnamon rolls. That way we can just drizzle that on top. Now, let me know down in the comments below what y'all like to make for Christmas morning breakfast. Or do you do that? Do y'all just eat something quick? Um, like I said, these would be great to prep ahead so they wouldn't be a lot of work on Christmas morning because I know that morning can be kind of busy. So this would be a great opportunity to already get these done the day before and just pop them in the oven and you know and have a delicious breakfast so look at that y'all all that gooey icing and those yummy cinnamon rolls man it was so good I just I just can't tell y'all it was just so very good and we've got our breakfast casserole now I've just put some cheese on top and we're gonna melt that we honestly didn't let it have a long time to melt because we were pretty hungry so we were ready to try it and I will tell you too that to me the middle of mine kept looking undone and I, I think it was just like the moisture from maybe the potatoes or the veggies or something. And I actually checked it with a the thermometer and it was done. So if it does look a little undone in the middle, maybe check the temperature and make sure. Because I think, I think that kind of gives you the false illusion. But so I've got my casseroles and my fruit salad all set out here ready for us to make our plates and start eating. And I'm telling y'all, this was so simple. So it would be perfect for Christmas morning because like I said, prep all of it ahead of time and you'll be good to go. So great, great idea for Christmas morning. Now guys, don't forget to keep watching. I've got a message for y'all at the end and I just wanted to share with y'all. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. I sure did enjoy making it for y'all. All that stuff was so good. We really enjoyed it. If you try any of these recipes, definitely let me know because our family really enjoyed them. So I'd love to hear if you did too. I did want to just take a moment and just thank each of you. Like, I, it's really unbelievable to me. I just hit 2,000 subscribers not long ago at all. And that blows me away. Like, it just really makes my day when I read your comments you know, and see that you enjoy my videos and all that stuff. It's just really special to me. You know, this has definitely been not the easiest almost two years now for all of us. And so YouTube has become a really fun thing for me. I love to cook and it also keeps me like motivated to make, you know, new things for my family because I do tend to kind of make the same thing sometimes because we like them and this has encouraged me to really, you know, try new recipes to kind of get outside of the box sometimes. And so I appreciate that. I appreciate all of your support. It means so very much to me. I don't think you could even know how much. And I just wanted to thank each of you for just, you know, being there, for talking with me in the comments, for liking my videos. I just appreciate it so much. And I wanted to let y'all know. Also, I wanted to take time and wish each of you a very Merry Christmas. I do have another video or two planned to come out before Christmas, but just in case I know things get busy, you might not see that until after Christmas. So I did want to take some time and just wish y'all each a Merry Christmas. I hope each of you have a blessed day and are able to spend some nice family time together and just enjoy the day. But again, thank y'all so much for your support, for just, you know, supporting my videos and just encouraging me and you know everything it's just I can't thank you enough it's just it still blows me away when I when I see a comment that y'all enjoy my video or that you uh, are binge watching my videos or anything along those lines it still blows me away I'm just really excited at you know things in store and the growth and 
making new friends with y'all and all that stuff and so just thank you so much like I always say, I hope you have a blessed day wherever you are, and I'll see you in the next one.